If I walked up to you and put a gun to your head and was like, get this fucking rep, and you couldn't do it, boom, you achieve failure. Alright guys, so I wasn't even supposed to film today, but I promised you guys I'd get two videos out, so we're in like a normal outfit right now, <laughs> like not even a gym fit. I don't give a fuck. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Um... I'm <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, you're good. So, I've been in a shit mood all fucking day. Probably the worst mood I've been in in months. So mad. Fully, like, raged out all fucking day. So what better thing to do than lift? And what better thing to do than make a video on how to lift with intensity? And that's what you guys came here for. I'm not on that cringe bullshit of, oh yeah, the gym's my therapy, oh I'm manic. Like, bro, genuinely, like, if I couldn't go to the gym right now, I'd probably be flooring it on this highway going like 150 and just fucking wrap around a pole. Sometimes the gym is what is able to get all that anger out. That and Muay Thai, any sort of uh, contact yeah. sport. Facts. The gym helps a lot with people that have like a hard time with, I don't want to say it out loud because of YouTube, but uh, self-harm issues. It helps with feeling the same kind of like, it's not even self-destructive, but I mean, I guess that's, that's like the best terminology I can put it in. If you're one of those people that's like pain in the body silences the pain in the mind, then like working out definitely for you. And it's a healthy way of doing it too. For me, I just, I started lifting when I was about 16, 17, and I used to hit my uh, boxing bag. I have videos where there's like blood all over the bag from me being so pissed. I mean, I've, you guys gotta think, all you see from influencers and everyone is all just like the good portion of shit. You see all the, you know, happy, great times where they're out having fun, like, you're never seeing them on their worst days. This has got to be one of the fucking worst days I've had in a minute. So this lift is about to hit really hard. And I, like I said, I normally don't film two YouTube videos in one week because I got to take time off work to edit them. It makes me lose money, but I love making them for you guys. Like if if I never make a dollar off this, then so be it. I mean, it's, it's just fun to do. I, I enjoy it. But with that being said, we got that second video out if you're watching this and uh, I don't know, tell me, because this guy, this guy's the fucking master at training with intensity. I mean, I am too. We're both, we, I train with this motherfucker almost every day because he's the only one that could keep up. Dog, yeah. He's got that dog mentality. I've you know? already worked out today, but I get a call from Tommy and he's just like, bro, I've had such a shit fucking day. Like, let's go hit arms at the hall. And I was like, all right, shit. I hit tricep, bicep yesterday. I'm doing it again today, but I have small ass arms. I'm trying to catch up to Tommy, you know, got to fucking, hit them more you want them to grow you hit them more you don't want to grow that much you don't hit as much like i don't hit my chest sometimes once a week sometimes i'll fully skip it um just you got to do what you're do more of what you're bad at do less of what you're good at and uh, that's how you're going to sculpt a prime physique all right tommy any advice on training with intensity as far as i can explain uh, training with intensity is not really like something that you do it's it's a mindset that you have before you get into training 100%. and it's um Am I gonna go home thinking to myself, I could have done better? Hey, hey, who says that shit? If you're, if you're an OG follower, you know Tom Platz says that shit. Tom Platz is so He's right the king in, of that his, shit. in his reasons of motivation, bro. If you can go home and say, yeah, I could have been, I could have went 10% harder, 20% harder today, then you're not fucking working hard enough. So what I gotta say about this is, this is how I learned how to train with intensity. I would take myself, for me, it's Muhammad Ali. He said he used to do push-ups, a shit ton of them. And then I, someone asked, like, how many push-ups can you do? And he said, uh, you know, like four or five. And they'd be like, what? And then he'd do like a thousand of them, some crazy shit. And then be like, okay, now I can start counting. So once you're tired, just keep going. Just don't stop until you literally cannot get another one up. Like if I walked up to you and put a gun to your head and was like, get this fucking rep, and you couldn't do it, boom, you achieve failure. What people don't understand is that they think that there's like some kind of perfect rep range. It's like, there is no perfect rep range. You can reach failure at 10 reps with high weight or with low weight, or you can reach failure at six reps with high weight. You reach failure weight. at one, it's just a PR. Yeah, you know? it, you're, yeah you're, your one rep max is called a one rep max for a reason. It's the total capability of strength for your one rep. So it's like, you, you have to just train as hard as you fucking can. When your muscles are hurting, when they're aching, that's when it just, it's when you start counting, essentially. And the best way to achieve failure is by switching your mind. Like Tommy said, it's a mindset. 
but I'm talking like you got to like almost get yourself in like a weird mood it's it's almost like a switch you got to be able to flip a switch as, as much as you hear so many people say oh when I fight I see red I, I flip a switch no you genuinely got to like no one else fucking matters no one's looking at you and even if they are that doesn't matter you're in your own world and your world is making sure you could get one more rep every single time that is the only thing in that moment that's mad that's why the gym is such good therapy for people because in that moment where you're only concerned with getting those reps getting that fucking weight up off your chest or pulling it down all that matters is that and nothing else in the world matters your bad day doesn't matter your relationship problems doesn't matter your schoolwork doesn't matter nothing else matters except for lifting that fucking heavy ass weight so let's go to the gym and let's go lift some fucking heavy ass weight guys so we just got done with that lift that shit was amazing i'm in a 10 times better mood right now i was acting like a chick on her period i'm i'm okay now i'm okay now i had to get that lift in and now i'm good i'm 100 now but you see how crazy lifting could just change your mood like that i think it was just a lot of pent-up tension energy and just stress stress will destroy you it'll take you stress could literally kill you no one wants to be stressed the release of cortisol in the brain is terrible and i have a saying i i always tell this to myself in times where i'm really stressed you got one of two ways of thinking about it one can you fix the problem if so take the steps necessary to fix it if not well then you can't really worry about it it's in god's hands at that point if there's nothing you could do there's no reason to stress in no predicament will it make it better to stress i'm home right now editing this video i hope you guys enjoyed that shit because Oh my god, this one's gonna take a minute to edit. I want to make a really cool edit of just like Hardcore lifting. I mean you guys already saw it. Um, let me know if you guys like that style of editing. Um, it took a long time <laughs> But uh, 
yeah, I mean, we got a lot more videos coming. I mean, after watching this video, I hope you guys wanted to get the fuck up and go to the gym with all that pissed ass energy. But uh, that's two videos in one week. And I'm really happy that I filmed today. It was, I had a lot of fun. It really changed my mood around. And in the next video, the announcement I was gonna say is uh, me, Tommy, Larry, Dylan, and Baj were all going to Houston, Texas, and uh, this other place in Texas. I I'm not really too sure. I'm kind of just going with the flow. Larry bought the ticket and I just zelled him and I was like, fuck, I don't even care. I I don't even know when we're leaving, dude. I'm just I'm just rolling with the shots. Expect probably two next week as well if I could even edit them while I'm in Texas. But yeah, we're just gonna roll with it, dude. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. So uh, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching, making it to the end. Love all of you. Have a fucking great day and have a fucking great lift tomorrow.